What I want to do tonight is to show you how some of the things we do as cold case detectives might help you determine if Christianity is true. Now, you might think there's not any relationship between these two things, but believe it or not, there is. Cold cases are simply cases from the distant past, right? Like my cases are from 1972 is probably the oldest case I've worked. We just solved one not too long ago from 1979. We were on Dateline about a month ago in a case from 1998, maybe, 96. So they're always in this range, right? And they're cold for a reason. They were lame to begin with. They, they don't have, you know, I don't have any living eyewitnesses who can tell you who did it. If I had a living eyewitness when this happened, it would have got solved 25 years ago. It didn't get solved because I don't have any living eyewitnesses. Not only that, I don't have good forensic evidence either because... I just haven't been lucky that way. I, a lot of cases are solved with DNA 30 years later. That just hasn't been my agency's experience. So how do we solve these? We solve them the old-fashioned way, right? We, we build cumulative, circumstantial cases. But I bet when I use this word here, this, this, this word circumstantial, most of you are thinking, oh, that's lame, right? Because you've heard how many times on TV, all they have is a circumstantial case. Or oh, it's purely circumstantial. How many times have you heard that? Doesn't it sound like a good thing? That sounds like a bad thing, right? And that's the problem. I have to kind of dispel you of that nonsense later on, okay? But this is the nature of all the cold cases I work. By the way, about 80% of cases in America, cold or not, are entirely circumstantial. Every case I've worked has been nothing but 100% circumstantial. Now, this is very similar to making the case for Christianity. You've got to invest, you're looking at a case for which I have no living eyewitnesses I can interview today. I, I don't have any forensic evidence I can use to test this. I have to build the case on circumstantial evidence. Look, a lot of times I get to a case, and a, and a guy has interviewed, a detective in 1972 has interviewed a witness or two or three, and now those witnesses are dead. And the guy from 1972 who was the detective has got, has, has no longer has dementia. I, I can't even talk. So now I have no access to the original eyewitnesses. And I have no access to the report writer. But I do have the report. And i got to figure out what happened based on the report. What does that sound like to you? This sounds like the Gospels. And so I have an, I've, I'm just going to employ the same skill set to look at Christianity. Christianity. <laughs>